Uh, I did really enjoy the relationship, uh, but there was one thing that I couldn't stand, and that was listening to her talk about her conflicts with other women. Because women will get mad at other women, not because of what they did, but because they did something without taking into consideration the other women's feelings. It's not always about what they did, it's that they didn't think about how it would make the other woman feel. And I got a little example, it's kind of complex, you guys gotta stick with me on this one, alright? Alright, my girls, let's do this, okay. So girl A brings in an ice cream cake for a group of girls, but it's mint chocolate chip ice cream. And two years ago in passing conversation, girl B mentioned to girl A that she doesn't like mint chocolate chip ice cream. So now girl B is mad at girl A for making her feel left out. But instead of telling girl A this, girl B tells girl C this, so now girl C is mad at girl A for making girl B feel left out. And then... Girl D comes in and finds out that girl B and girl C are talking shit about girl A. So she's mad at them for making girl A feel alienated. And then girl E comes in and she's mad at all of them because she got left out of this cat fight. But really, girl E's just a drama queen who wanted some attention and is looking for a reason to justify eating an entire mint chocolate chip ice cream cake by herself. Because here's the entire scenario with guys. Guy A brings in a mint chocolate chip ice cream cake. Guy B goes, dude, I don't really like mint chocolate chip ice cream, but I just feel it's weird you brought in an ice cream cake for a group of guys. <laughs> and you know where guy C is in this entire scenario? Nowhere. Guy C is busy trying to get with girl E because she's emotionally vulnerable and feeling guilty of bringing an entire mint chocolate chip ice cream cake by herself. Thank you.